It's recording. It's happening. This is a thing. Okay. This is a thing. We're doing it. It's happening. All right. So now I click on this link. Where'd you go? Liz? I feel like there's a meme in here somewhere. Like, how long does it take two chicks to uh, start a podcast? <laughs> when mostly it's one chick's fault. Uh, no. <laughs> Hello. How is that? I think that kind of works. Yeah, it sounds good on my end. Okay, awesome. Cool. All right. Ready to get started? Sure. (laughs) Do it. Hi, Morgan. How are you? Hi, Liz. I'm good. How are you? I am so great. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for coming and being a guest on Real Tech Redhead. I'm so happy that you like wanted to come chat with me today. Well, I really appreciate you having me. And um, again, let me preface, this is my first time doing a podcast ever. So we've already hopefully had all of our technical difficulties. But, you know, if I'm if I'm doing it wrong, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, it sounds great. I think it looks great so far. I guess we'll find out at the end um, how it turned out. <laughs> but All I, right, think yes. I think we're doing good. So, the proof um, is in the podcast, as they say. Good. I like it. We're, we're making t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> So I already told everybody that basically who you are, that you own uh, Beyond the Trend, and that I interned for you at the end of 2018, and that you have some really exciting goals for the rest of 2020. So I figured I would start off by you guys, you just kind of introducing yourself and telling everybody who you are, how you started Beyond the Trend, and anything else you want to let us know. So much pressure. Um, okay, <laughs> so... Um, Hi, everybody. Again, my name is Morgan Reynolds, and I was actually born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, and only moved to Florida seven years ago, I want to say, right after I got married. And this is our seven-year anniversary coming up in November. So yes, I guess that makes sense. And um, yeah, so I've been doing marketing consulting for a long time. I started freelance marketing in Chicago. And then when I got married and moved down here, I was still doing a little freelance work here and there. But uh, when we settled here in Vero Beach, after about a year of being here, I decided I really missed being a part of a team. I love collaborating with other people. I felt like I could serve my clients better if we had an actual agency and were able to kind of provide them with more services. So I incorporated Beyond the Trend and then uh, found this office space here and then um, had to flee the city because Hurricane Irma. So (laughs) South South Florida problem (laughs) for sure. Um, And also my husband always reminds me that you know, we face tougher things than this, whatever we're going through, because when uh, we came back from Hurricane Irma, our rental house was on like the very edge of the power grid. So we didn't get power restored for like a full week after the hurricane. And it was so hot and humid. So we actually came and slept nights on the floor here in the office just to like get a break because the office had power and air conditioning. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I never heard that story. Oh, yeah. So anyways, it's a full service agency, you know, yes. <laughs> it's a marketing, you know, agency. It's fine. We do all the things here. So yeah, room and board the whole nine. I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I've got a couple of other women who work full time with me and we do all things digital marketing, but we do, of course, still design things for print when our clients need something print, something to hand out. Mm-hmm. And on the one hand, everyone's like, oh, digital marketing, you must have made out like a banshee because of COVID. And I'm like, well, yes, we are doing better than a lot of businesses because there's definitely a very apparent need for the services that we provide, but it definitely wasn't um, 
a walk in the park for us either. You know, we had a lot of clients that really were struggling, so they had to defer payment or cancel payments so that they could kind of figure out what they were doing. And of course, we wanted to be as understanding as possible and still work with them. We weren't going to just abandon updating a website or helping them set up Zoom appointments because, you know, they weren't flush with cash at the moment because, you know, our goal always is to see businesses win. So kind of we pushed ourselves as hard as we could and there was kind of a lot of late nights and working through weekends, like hunched up at our kitchen tables, trying to keep everything going. So yeah. um, I feel very fortunate and very blessed that I'm in a profession that right now is needed, but at the same time, I can empathize and understand some of the struggle that a lot of business owners and just the average everyday citizen, whether it's um, losing a job, uh, not having a great work from home environment, trying to figure out what to do with your kids during this time. One of my employees has a nine-year-old, you know, Sadie. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah. love Sadie. Yeah, so she's still working from home now because there's been no summer camps, no aftercare, no, you know, the school system is kind of a whole, we don't quite know what's going to happen type of thing. Oh, yeah. So anyway, we're kind of having to roll with the punches too. Um, and that's kind of what gave me the idea, me personally, for the Step Up September Challenge, which is what we're doing now at beyondthetrend.com. So yes, I love it. Yeah, definitely tell us more about like what you have planned and exactly what it is and like how people can sign up. I just want to let everyone know that everything we talk about today, the Beyond the Trend website, Instagram, all that stuff, I'm going to put it in the description of this podcast and I'm going to share it all over the place on Instagram. So if you guys are interested in joining once we're all done, um, you know where to go to get those links. So you see how on top of it Liz is? This is why she was like the best intern we've ever had. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I only learned from you guys. Us out. I mean, yes, ma'am, on my way. <laughs> Just ride into the rescue. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I literally was going on a walk myself because kind of with all of the extra hours and Liz and I were just talking about before the podcast, me like losing all posture and back muscle. Cause I've just been like crunched oh, yeah, over my computer sure. for the last like six months. Um, <laughs> but I was saying, you know, I might as well go ahead and start figuring out how to fit a little bit better healthcare into my schedule. And people who know me know that I also have an autoimmune disorder and I've had kind of a whole series of different like health issues over the years that I've had to learn to kind of work around and live with and through and everything. So I was out for a walk, you know, doing some like super intense like power walking because that's like my, my heavy <laughs> duty cardio. So oh, all you that. marathoners out there don't mock me. But anyway, <laughs> um, and I was like, you know, Morgan, you should really like, it's about to be a new month. August is almost over. Where did the year go? Also, I get kind of like nostalgic this time of year because my birthday is in December. So like end of the year and then I'm going to be that much older and how many gray hairs do I have now? And what have I done with my life? So like I, and I feel like that's very common for, I don't know if guys do this as much. Maybe they do it more in their forties when they hit their like midlife crisis. But I feel like a lot of the women, especially that I talk to, are kind of going through that where they're starting to count their birthdays and they're starting to kind of evaluate what have I accomplished? What have I achieved? Am I hitting my goal? Right. And it's so overwhelming, right? Cause like you, if you start to like go down that funnel, you can spiral really, really quickly and start to feel really, really bad about yourself. 100%. I have a couple episodes where I've talked to everyone about, you know, all the coulda, woulda, shouldas. And as every day goes by, you're looking back like, where did it all go? <laughs> no, I know it is. It's so hard and it really takes kind of a good support system and um, interesting tidbit. Did you know that women use three to five times as many words in a day as men do? I did not know that, but I totally believe it because I could talk a lot. <laughs> I have a lot that I can say. <laughs> Me too. All of our men folk are like, oh my gosh, yes. Can she ever? Um, <laughs> Is that it? Just three to five times more? <laughs> I know, right? Maybe it's a lot higher, but I think our average is like, I, I don't want to quote it wrong, but maybe we'll add that in the link or we'll share it somewhere on our social media. Um, yeah. Anyway, the point is, it's important to be able to find people that you can talk to and kind of unpack that stuff with. And it's also, I know this is something you talk about a lot on your social media and it encourages me, but 
find small ways, small actionable ways to take some steps to make some progress in whatever it is that you're doing, whether that's just taking care of yourself, taking care of your family, taking care of your relationships, taking care of your business, taking care of your finances. And if you kind of talk yourself down from the ledge and remind yourself that any step I take today is a step further than I was yesterday, then maybe you can talk yourself into feeling better about those small little steps that you're taking. So that's what I was telling myself on this walk. I was having this very long conversation in my head about that fourth September, why don't I step it up? Why don't I kind of get back to cooking a healthy menu at home, get back to a little bit more regular eating and workout schedule, um, you know, schedule in some breaks, schedule in some extra work time. But also I made a commitment just for me personally, one of my goals is to work every Saturday in September because we have had an opportunity to do some traveling. We've had some family visit over the last like month or so. So I feel like, okay, like you had a little bit of a breather. It's time to buckle down and, you know, kind of get back into your work groove so that you can really build some momentum kind of before the holidays. So that's where the idea came from. I was telling myself to step up for the month of September. And then I was like, oh, step up September. That's kind of cute. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe we should like just, you know, post some fun motivational stuff for people and just some little encouraging ideas to give people some little bite-sized daily goals, little things that you can actually finish today, right? Like if your goal yeah. is to go for one walk a week, right? Like today I could accomplish that goal. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling yourself like, okay, you need to work out for an hour every single day and it has to be before work. Otherwise you're a complete failure and your life is over. Oh my so gosh, like, in my head. What we're trying not to do <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the challenge is like, what are some small manageable things that you can do, you know, or grocery shop for the week. And then like, Hey, if you end up eating out or not making everything on your meal plan, that's okay. But like, you did the grocery shopping, the food is in the fridge. If you have time, if you have the energy, you know you can go home and make yourself like a healthy meal, so. Absolutely, I, I love that so, so much. A lot of us are, it's, it's just like you said, we have this like kind of mental to-do list of everything that we need to get done and we have to get done. If we haven't crossed everything off every day, all the time, we failed ourselves. And I think it's mm -hmm. important to remember that like every tiny little step is still a step towards Yes. So much more. Even if you don't realize it, I used the analogy the other day that like, let's say you've been thinking about, oh, I got to clean out the fridge for like two months. You're like, I really need to clean out the fridge. It's been bothering me, blah, 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 blah. And then you finally go and do it. And that is one less thing on your like stress radar that you might not have even known was stressing you out. You know, it may not seem like an accomplishment mm -hmm. to you, but the tiniest things can make a huge impact especially over time. So I, I really love that you're doing this. I think people need a, a community and, and motivation to help them. Well, we all do, right? We all need some people to encourage us. And we're trying to kind of cover several different bases. And I, again, we have a lot of high ambitions and goals to accomplish this month. We probably will not achieve all of them, but we are trying to post some helpful advice in terms of actual goal setting. So like we did a post about smart goals, what are smart goals? And yes, it's kind of rudimentary and basic, but are your goals actually measurable? Like, are you actually breaking down your goals into something that you can check off the list in a reasonable way? Not just like finish this project. Okay. What's the next step in the project? Do you have to go to Michael's and get something? Do you have to go to Walmart and get something? Do you have to like, you know, clean something else first before you can get to the back of whatever closet you're trying to get into, you know? <laughs> um, so like, I've, I've been trying to train myself to really break down every goal into those little actionable line items so I can really see the progress that we're making. And that helps me in business too, when we're working on different projects for clients to be able to say, you know, these were all the steps that it took to get to here. So you know, that way we can show the client our work, but then also the next time we bid on a project like that, we have an even better understanding of some of the glitches that can come up, some of the things you have to overcome. And I think we have this misconception that like, if life is hard, we're doing it wrong. Right, I, I love that. I love, I mean, I don't love that. It's awful to feel that way, <laughs> but I love, I love that you said that because I think a lot of people don't realize that um, you know, hard, hard work is a part of life and there's, you know, we're human beings and there's days that we're going to experience things that are not 
fun and happy. And mm. that's, I think that that means we're doing it right. I think that that mm. means that we're, you know, overcoming obstacles. We're realizing things about ourselves. We're able to kind of reorganize our priorities and be like, well, what, what, what's really the biggest goal here? You know, if this mm. is making me feel this way, does that mean that I'm, I care about it and that I'm passionate about it? Or does that mean that it's toxic, toxic for me? And maybe I need to look at a different, you know, route. Right. And I think there can be hard things that in the long run are fulfilling. So then like it's worth it, but then there are hard things that, like you said, maybe they're hard for a reason and maybe there does need to be some changes made. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes some of those gurus on the internet go around trying to act like, oh yeah, if you're struggling to like make a ton of money, you're doing it wrong. Like, it's so easy. What are you thinking? Like, you should only be spending half an hour a week working. Like, oh gosh, you're obviously that. just not that bright. Like, I have yeah. the perfect solution. It's only $1,999.99 today. Yeah. So anyways, um, I'm super not knocking gurus that work hard out there. But um, I do, I agree. I think life takes hard work. And I think, unfortunately, we do live in kind of a broken world. It will never be a utopia. And things happen that aren't out of our control. And like this pandemic, you know, and I, I hear so much that people just kind of fall into this pit of like, Ugh. every little bad thing that happens. It's like, Ugh, it's 2020. Yeah. And I do never think Every, just blame everything on 2020. Well, what are we going to do next year when it's 2021 and something not great happens, right? Are we just going to like throw the whole decade out and be like, <laughs> the, you know, 2020s were like the worst. I do yeah. think one of the things that is important to talk about, and I know you can probably share more on this than I can, but the, the hold that social media and news and just the general barrage of information has on us can make everything seem so much worse. And it's important to be informed and to kind of understand globally what's happening in our world. But like you can't be controlled by things that you can't control, right? Absolutely. 100%. So oh, I don't know, are there some things that you kind of have been working on or talking to people about in terms of being able to mentally distance yourself from some of that like super negative information and energy that is always super available? Yeah, yeah, well, I love that you were bringing this up because my very last episode when I talked about coping for people who are empaths um, mm. is... I talk a lot about that. Um, in the beginning of the pandemic, in, in March and in April, um, and with just everything else that's happening in the world, I found myself obsessive over watching the news and reading Facebook of all things, which I look back uh, and I'm like, really? You really allowed <laughs> Facebook to like take over? But it did. I, everything that I read, I was reading all the negative comments. I was just uh, obsessed. And part of it was I, as I get older, I feel more and more of a responsibility to be, as you said, knowledge, you know, knowledgeable of current events. Um, but one of the things that I shared that I think is really helpful for people who are like that, who, who are, they're like, I don't know where to go, especially because like you said, there is an overwhelming amount of information out there is to spend a little bit of time finding the most, I'm trying to think of the like factual information that you can find new sources that are factual and they're not um, throwing out these like you know, emotionally triggering bug buzzwords and whatnot, you know, they're, they're just there to get at your heartstrings instead of telling you what the facts are. And if you have to schedule actual like news time in your day, you wake up in the morning and you immediately take to Facebook or whatever your scroll, scroll, yeah. scroll, mm -hmm. give yourself 30 minutes, set an alarm, read whatever news source that you feel is going to benefit you and then turn it off. You won't miss mm. enough to matter in the time right. that you will miss your sanity if you, <laughs> if you, if you don't do it that way. And something else that has also helped me is to make sure that we are, um, reading good news. So yeah. I don't, have you seen some good news that John Krasinski created? 
Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And why is he no longer on it? I know. So he has, I guess, like made a deal with NBC, I think, or CBS, one of the two. And they're going to create like That man is like, seriously so brilliant. Movie. I can't even. Yeah. And beautiful, I have to say. I just, no, he really is. It's but, kind of unfair <laughs> to put so many good things all in one person. But continue totally with is. your point. But yes, yes. Watching things like that, there's another one where I think it's called like, good news now there are several mm. websites out there and places that you can go where you can just like read good news good things that are happening i think it's very easy to forget that mm. there still are very good people out there very good things that are happening and so balance is like probably the key when it comes to yeah. what we're talking about here which mm -hmm. is not allowing the sheer volume of information to overwhelm you um but to balance yourself with it and then decide if if some of these really crappy things that are bothering you are things that we can do something about. Decide mm -hmm. what, what is that for you? Is that just simply like sharing on your platform so that you can shine lights on things? Do you want to donate to a charity? Do you want to physically like go out and, you know, donate some of your time? I mean, don't feel obligated to do any of it, but, um, you know, if, if you feel like you want to do something, find what works best for you. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, that's such great advice to kind of filter through and decide what are the things that I am most passionate about and then find some actionable steps to take that make you feel like you're a part of the solution, perhaps, rather than the problem. And I also think what you said about just giving yourself a little perspective, too, is really good. Like if you're like you said, just going straight to Facebook and consuming whatever people give you. We do have the power over which accounts that we get to follow. And we mm -hmm. do, you can spend a little time. I, I have a lot of friends who get so frustrated with Facebook because they're still following people that they've grown out of, you know? And I yes. think at some point it's okay to wish your friends from high school well, but not follow their feet anymore. Yeah. Just unfollow them. Facebook has that great tool. It's called unfollow. <laughs> Facebook also has a great tool called um, See First. I don't know if anybody out there uses that, but I flag some of my favorite things and then I get mm -hmm. to see those posts first in my feed. So that always puts me in a little bit better mood and I find that to be a little bit encouraging. Like, oh, there's good people and good things happening before I scroll down and see somebody complaining about whatever type of thing. Yeah, I love that you said that because I, I know that that's a thing and I completely forgot to actually use it. So I'm actually gonna mm -hmm. use that tool. I've removed myself from Facebook a lot since then because I know that I just can't, it's like a train wreck. I just can't look away, <laughs> but yeah. I don't want to get rid For of it. so many people, me. you're not the only one. I know. Well, and none of us want to get rid of it because how are we going to know when it's your birthday? <laughs> well, my gosh, don't even get me started on the birthday situation. <laughs> Tell me about it. I know. So, um, yes, thank you for reminding me of that tool. I think a lot of people could benefit from it. Yeah. And then the other thing kind of with the Step Up September challenge that I want to encourage people to get in the habit of, that I'm trying to get in the habit of, is as your goals and needs are changing, again, it's okay to shift what you're consuming. You know, and so, for example, the topics that we're trying to cover and disseminate kind of information on for S September is business goals, financial goals, health goals, and kind of mental or spiritual wellness, kind of whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you're like, okay, the health is kind of under control. I feel good. I've been walking a lot because quarantine or whatever, but financial obviously not in a great situation because maybe work has been gone or stopped or on pause right. or your boss has cut back or whatever. So how can I fo focus on my finances? And so then take an afternoon instead of just scrolling through your Instagram feed and getting distracted by, again, what people are trying to give you, intentionally mm -hmm. search for and look for people who are talking about ways to make some quick cash, ways to pivot your skill set, you know, other people who are in the industry that you're in, what are they talking about? What resources have they found? And you might have to dig a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. And it's amazing. Um, like I always say, energy begets energy. So where you're putting your energy, even if you feel like maybe oh, all I'm doing is kind of like looking up new Instagrammers or whatever, 
Right. Especially if you are devoting your energy to learning about something new or something that is going to benefit you, that energy is going to turn into something. Maybe you'll, you know, comment something on a post and then somebody else in the comments will notice you and then they'll come check out your feed and then you guys will become friends. You just never know. You kind of have to just keep putting yourself out there. And again, that's why I think Step Up September is important for me and for some of the people that I know, because if we just threw 2020 out and said, well, this has been the worst year ever known to mankind, I'm over mm -hmm. it, I'm done, I'm just gonna like bury myself in a hole until, <laughs> yeah. then you miss out on the opportunity to kind of start setting yourself up for a better 2021 now by doing some of that research, by, you know, making some of those little inroads. In fact, I, I had kind of a cool story the other day happen that I was going to share. And of course, I don't even have the details of it. I might have it in my notes. But <laughs> the point is that I am always shocked because little small conversations that I've had with people over time, you never know where they're going to lead, you know, or you never know where a little investment of your time is going to blossom into. Oh, I remember. So I was talking to a, I don't want to give away too much information. I was talking to a business person here in gotcha. town and they invited me to go to a lunch. And then that lunch uh, with one of his uh, colleagues led to meeting with that colleague and some of his colleagues. And then um, we actually were negotiating a contract and it ended up never coming to fruition. And it was kind of frustrating, but you know, life goes on. We have other clients. It's fine. It's all good. And then now it's been, that was like right when I first started. So it's got to be close to three years now later. Okay. One of the people at like maybe the third lunch into this story that I'm really telling horribly and I apologize. No. <laughs> So <laughs> one of these lunches that um, we somehow kind of like popped up in each other's Facebook feed again type of thing. And uh, so I kind of was aware of this person again and then had a new project come up where I felt like this person would be a good fit or could speak into it or could be helpful or whatever. And now we actually have something on the books to work together. And that was like a three year kind of like thing yeah. that you just would never know. And that's one of the things that still gets me up in the morning is that life really can surprise you. Like you really, no matter how dour you think things are, like you just never know when something cool might happen, but you have to kind of keep showing up and keep being there and keep making yourself available for things, you know? Absolutely. I, that was very like inspirational. It got me in my feels for sure, because literally like that, that is, that's something that I know and yet have a hard time remembering for myself. Sometimes there's a lot of times where I have goals or plans for something. And I know, I think we've talked about this just in like mm. normal conversation that, you know, I kind of get down on myself that I haven't gotten like this achieved, or I feel like, you know, this isn't working out well or so on and so forth. And I forget that I can think of several examples, you know, I, identical to what you just used of something that just seemed awful and was like, well, that was a waste of time that has blossomed into something huge or something that I was terrified of and didn't think I was good at or, you know, figured that nobody really like cared what I had to say. And, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks later, something pops up on my feed where it's like, hey, I just heard this awesome podcast or hey, like I just spoke to somebody who knows Real Talk Redhead and learned a lot about myself and how to like that, you know, and, and, it, it's it's the absolute truth. You know, there's so many times where things aren't always what they seem. And sometimes that's in a majorly beneficial way to yeah. us. Nothing, nothing is a failure. It's just a different way of doing things. Or I, I've used this example before and I really need to find the actual quote, but I, was, I think it's Benjamin Franklin that was like, you know, it took him like 3000 times before he figured out the light bulb. And it's like, I didn't Thomas fail. Edison. I just, oh, Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. I didn't fail. I just found um, 2,999 ways that it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> and no, you exactly. don't, yeah, you can't, you can't figure out what's going to work for you until you just like start doing stuff. And then 
they throw darts at a dartboard and see what sticks, you know? Right. There really is no one way of doing things that's going to work for everybody in any situation, whether that's the diet that you eat or the faith that you practice or, you know, your journey to find the person of your dreams and, you know, settle down and start a family or whatever. Like mm -hmm. you could never compare two stories and they would be identical. And if you took two people and said, both of you take all these identical steps in life, their journeys would still end up being as unique as they are. So if you give yourself a break, again, we're in this comparing culture because everything is public on social media. You can't ever say that, oh, because this person is doing their journey this way and I'm trying to take those same steps and I'm not there yet, you know, I'm doing it wrong. You're just doing it your way. In fact, there's actually a Bible verse that I feel like I never understood until like this last year. And I, of course, don't remember the reference, but it's in Psalms and it says, or maybe Proverbs, anyway, it's one of those wisdom books. And it gotcha. says, um, a man chooses his path in his heart, but the Lord determines his steps. So I would always like ask her, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So who's actually in charge? Like, God, like <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Who is making the calls here? Like, I love it. <laughs> and so I think I finally kind of, to me, it made sense to understand that like, I can decide, like, I don't think that God predetermines what you're going to do in life. Like, I think we really do get to choose, like, I want to be the thing that gives me the most joy is to run a marketing agency, which right. sounds cheesy, but it does. Like, I really do love what I'm doing. And I'm so incredibly grateful that I'm doing it. That doesn't mean that it's easy. And my dream three years ago, when I started this, I imagined the journey being very different. So I feel like it's, you can kind of decide what the destination is and where you want to go and you can pick your path or your journey or your destination or your direction. But then God slash your choices slash whatever you believe about it, the little steps to getting to that destination may not always be in your control or end up looking the way that you want them to. That I could not agree with you more. That's something that I finally started learning recently. I mean, I'm, I'm about to be 35 years old and I'm just now finally getting what this means is that, um, you know, I, I keep saying, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I wish that I had done things this way. I wish I would have learned this by now, so on and so forth, you know, and you have goals in your mind and they don't always turn out that way, but maybe just broaden your horizon a little bit more and think like, this is the goal. And I thought I was going to get to it on this path but there was this other path that took me like the long scenic route around and I still got to that goal. You know what I mean? Right. Don't, right. if your goal isn't going the same way, that doesn't mean that, or if your path isn't going the same way as you thought it was, it doesn't mean that the destination isn't the same. Right. So you can still ways end up there. there. Yeah. Like Just actually yep. if you need a little encouragement on this particular topic. People should watch um, that like, crazy survivor race Fiji that like Bear Grylls just hosted on Amazon. Oh, okay. Did you see this? No, I didn't. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, I think it's on Amazon right now or something that you can watch for free with Prime, but okay. Bear Grylls is the host, but it's one, it's like the amazing race, but it's not celebrities or anything. It's an endurance race that anybody can sign up for. You probably have to pre-qualify and you run the race in teams of four and you have to boat, swim, trek through jungles, build rafts, raft down rivers on bamboo rafts, and then like climb through more jungle and then like do more like uh, mountain biking and sometimes ride donkeys and you cross the island of Fiji, the entire island. Mm -hmm. And it takes between like four and 11 days with what you can like carry on your back. And there's like a few rest stops or whatever. But uh -huh. like the teams have carte blanche to figure out how they're going to do stuff, you know, mm -hmm. like there's some rules in place, but so there were teams that were, you know, like trying to like push through and hike through the night in the jungle and they had like all their tracking gear and they were like ready to like figure it out. And then there were other teams that wanted to like rest at night because they had like older members on the team that they wanted to like give a break to. And that was more important than pushing through. And then they would try to like make up time the next morning. And then you could also choose to help have locals help you 
build your raft for the river or you could like do it yourself. And I think you had to like pay the locals or something. So okay. kind of like choose your own adventure, but literally life is like that too, right? Like there's many ways to get across the island of Fiji and they all eventually ended up on the other shoreline. A couple of people had to be choppered out, you know, but that happened. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 it was so crazy. I was like, why would you do this to yourself? But I understand it's like that excitement of challenging yourself. And if we kind of looked at life more as every day that I get up and I work towards my goals, I'm kind of embracing that challenge, flexing whatever talents I have, getting better at what I'm doing instead of every day that I don't somehow like miraculously make a million dollars fall out of the sky, I failed. Yeah. You know, I think we could enjoy the journey a lot more. So. Oh, 100%. I really hope that people listen to this and really put it towards their own, you know, journey across Fiji. That's, that's all we're doing here in this life. <laughs> but I really, I, I really truly hopefully, you know, hope that all of you guys who are listening really take this to heart and understand that like, it doesn't matter how far you are in comparison to anybody else. They might be looking at you and thinking the exact same thing. Like, I wish that I could be as far as they are in something like we're, let's just help and support each other versus, you know, well, I got to be better than them or farther than them, or, or I'm failing if I'm not, you know, it's, I just think it's so awesome that we all have so much to learn from each other to better ourselves. Yeah. To, and yeah. there is enough stuff in the world. Like one of my good girlfriends who has really, um, her career has really taken off. She keeps reminding me that if someone has more than you, it doesn't mean that you have to have less, you know? There's you know, not, I'm going to make t-shirts of all of these things that you're saying. <laughs> perfect. We'll just listen to it great. back. We'll see. Now we'll have this recorded to remind ourselves. So when I wake up on the wrong side of the bed and have a really bad day, I'll be like, Morgan, you said all these inspirational things. Like yes. sometimes I do read my own Instagram account to feel better about my life. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm there. Uh, yes. I inspire myself. Um, yes. It's easy to forget sometimes. But yes, if we can all kind of remind ourselves that there is, there is enough in the world, it's a matter of kind of connecting the pieces and finding the mix and the wherewithal that kind of works for you and your situation and what your needs are or whatever. And again, that's not to say that it's easy or discount, you know, the struggles that all of us are going through, but to be hopeful at the end of the day, because Absolutely. The world has been around for a long time and there's more people, not less people in it. So mm -hmm. that can make things harder, but it also means that somehow as humans, we are thriving. So that's beautiful. I love that. I love that. And I love that you've set this, this step up challenge to kind of organize, um, some of these goals for us, you know, for, you know, you said it was business, finance, mental, spiritual, and what was the health, health and like yeah. physical health, like physical health, health well-being. Yeah. And so what, where can people go to sign up for this? And like, what will they expect? Are there any incentives to, to signing up? Well, yes, we always try to incentivize things because who doesn't like a little prize? Um, mm -hmm. But you can just go to beyondthetrend.com and there's kind of, um, there's a light box that'll pop up with a button that says you can go straight to the Step Up September Challenge or you can just go to the homepage. It lives on the homepage, so you'll get there either way, really easy. Um, we're Beyond the Trend Marketing on Facebook and Beyond the Trend Branding on Instagram. So you can find us either of those places. And if you want to sign up for emails, then we'll make sure that all the content gets delivered to you at least once a week um, or twice a week so that you kind of just have it all in your inbox and then you can read it when you have time and refer back to it. Um, or you can stalk us on the social needs as well. So we're trying to post everything there. And um, would love it if people would kind of share what are some things that they're hoping to step up in, you know, mm -hmm. what are just some small things that you're kind of, you know, yeah, I'm working on getting healthier physically, quarantine's been rough, you know, or um, I'm trying to let myself have more mental breaks, the kids have been crazy, whatever that is, you know, and then I, I would love to have kind of, as you said, a little bit more of a community, a little bit more support for each other, to give each other those pats on the back and those high fives. Um, because like really you can't discount those very small steps. I have a girlfriend who um, like me has been through some like pretty horrific hospital surgeries and stuff like that. And we're the yeah. same age and we actually grew up together. So unfortunately it's ironic that like we now share this like health struggle journey. Yeah. But like, so sometimes we'll call each other and be like, you know, like 
when I was sick and recovering from my hospitalization last year, we would call each other and be like, so guess what? I took a shower today. And then the other one would be like, oh my gosh, good for you. Now you don't have to for like three days. Great job. So like it's dumb, but just having, again, finding your support system or your network who will give you a pat on the back for the little things and not chastise you when you're not doing more because there's probably plenty of people in your circle who do that. We won't name names or anything. <laughs> no, not at all. We're not going to call people out. But, um, you know, we, we're already hard enough on ourselves. Like, we don't need to be surrounding ourselves with people who are also going to be hard on us, too. I mean, well, there's a difference between people being hard on us. I, I have a very, like, eclectic or, like, a, a big variety of friends, a group of friends. And, and there is a friend that I go to when I need some tough love and I need someone mm. to be like, hello. <laughs> Mm -hmm. snap out of it like you can do this I need a friend who's just going to listen to me and tell me everything I want to hear mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I have a friend who's going to like come grab me from my house and be like hey we're going to go out and we're going to have some fun today like I think that's important too you know so it's good that if you have friends who push and motivate you mm -hmm. but to criticize it just be hard on you I could do that myself I don't need you to do that for me right you know right. so yeah community and the support system is like absolutely number one and and having people around you that you can trust is just it's awesome i love it like you you're in my circle <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> i'm so happy that we have like created this friendship over the last couple of years it's just been awesome knowing you and i'm really looking forward to like seeing what more i can learn from step up september i signed up for it um this morning so sent you my email. I'm ready to go. I know that there's a hashtag that we're using on Instagram. Is that right? Yes. Hashtag step up BTT, which of course stands for beyond the trend. Um, so we will search. If you post anything with the hashtag, we'll search it. And then um, anybody who posts using the hashtag will be entered to win our prize pack, um, which includes some Starbucks gift cards, because what is life without coffee, yeah. a bunch of books from our favorite gurus like Lewis Howes and Gary V and some of those dudes. And then um, oh, just some different like notebooks and like planner journals and things like that to kind of help you write down all your thoughts and steps and goals um, to keep it moving because it's really just kind of a step up and get started month right? And then the rest of our lives are ahead of us. So we don't get to just be like, well, you know, I stepped it up for like two weeks. That was cool. So <laughs> even if you're listening to this later in September and you want to go ahead and sign up, um, we're going to still be doing like a monthly newsletter with, again, not just tips from us because we're not pretending to be the experts, but shared resources of, you know, other people's blogs and lists and podcasts that are doing cool things, which is why I'm super glad that we have you kind of being a part of it. Can I share just one quick story about you before we go? Please. Oh my gosh, uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you can I'm ready. I won't look. Cut it out if you don't like it. But, um, so I had met Liz when we were looking to hire and, um, I think it was on Facebook. I posted something on Facebook of, you know, what we were looking for, what, whatever. And Liz came in for an interview and I really liked her, but somebody else who interviewed just had like so much experience and I had such a tiny budget. I couldn't afford both. So I was going to hire the other person and Liz reached out to me because she hadn't heard back from me yet. And she was like, you know, Hey, like any news yet? And I was like, Oh, like, I don't want to tell her no, but like, I can't afford them both. And like, what do our clients need? Like right this second. Mm -hmm. And then she reached out to me again, and I was like, ugh, this chick again. And she was like, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she was like so hey, um, I totally understand if it doesn't work out, but I just wanted to let you know it was great to meet you. And um, even if I could, you know, kind of learn from you in the future or maybe just like pick your brain as I like kind of continue working on like my career and all that stuff, I would really appreciate it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what a great attitude and of course I would be happy to like sit down with her for hours and share you know whatever I can to kind of help keep her moving and then I like had this random thought and I was like what if she was kind of like an intern and she could come because like I would love I love to help and encourage people to learn um just to, to learn in general but like if I've learned anything over the years like I'm very very happy to like share that knowledge with other people so we can speed up their journey a little bit so anyway, that, um, if Liz had not kind of harassed me on Facebook, then we would not have met, we would not have this amazing friendship. And she seriously is such a light to 
my Instagram feed and our office whenever she's here and just whenever she and I have a little like texty chat. Um, so again, those kind of random encounters and if you put yourself out there, you kind of just never know. That's exactly and now it. we're helping her build a website to launch like a new business. So oh, who me? What? Yeah, stay, stay tuned. That, that I, cool thing's coming. You want to self promo yourself a little there? Yeah. Oh, I've already done it. If you go listen to like every other podcast, I'm like, by the way, I have a website. <laughs> no, but you have to include it in this one because I'm going to share this with our followers too. I absolutely will. So I am going to be launching very, very soon Real Talk Redheads self-care on purpose, self-care boxes. So I have three different tiers of self-care boxes that I want to create for anybody who needs to work on their self-care and they just don't know how to do it. A lot of the, what kind of inspired me to do these are when I would talk to people about what their self-care looks like, they would say, you know, oh, I don't really have time or, you know, like, I don't really like have the tools. I don't know what to buy for myself. I hate shopping for myself mm -hmm. and I hate shopping for myself, but I love shopping for other people. So I thought, why not share some of my favorite self-care tools um, in like one box, one-stop shop, you can either get the traveler's kit, which are like, um, you know, obviously travel sized or sample sized items. If you don't really want to commit to something huge, but you're kind of like on the go and just want, you know, a little something for yourself. I have perfect to throw in the purse or something like that too. Cause like it's small. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the second one is the redheads picks, which is like my kind of like main, like classic box. And that one is going to be all of my own personal favorite items that I use regularly, um, you know, whether it be daily or weekly. And then I have a custom box where if you want to be able to choose exactly kind of what you want in your box, what your self-care routine looks like, you can um, answer a little questionnaire and tell me like what your favorite scents are and like, are you more like of an active person or are you more of like a mm. spotty pampering person? And mm -hmm. then um, I will physically go shop for items that fit. Like what you're looking for so you're like yeah. a self-care concierge I, I like that some verbiage I might put on the website hmm. all right do it I'll bill you later <laughs> right, I'll put, put it on my tab That's right. <laughs> so so yeah I don't did I miss anything I think I got it all yeah I think we covered everything and okay. yes like Liz said, everything's going to be available in the description, but we're just at beyondthetrend.com and then that's got links to all of our social media. So that's pretty easy. And then we've got a chat bot and my email and phone number and everything are on there. You can always text to set up a time to chat if there's anything that you kind of want to delve more into or you have more questions about anything that we've talked about today or what's on our website. So super easy yeah. to reach. And if you guys aren't, you know, you guys might be thinking like, well, I don't need to brand myself. I don't need marketing. I don't have a business or anything like that. Still check out the website because, you know, as we said before, um, we're doing step up September. So, mm -hmm. you know, we all have goals that we're working towards. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be entrepreneurial or anything like that. Um, right. but you can really learn a lot from everything on this, on beyond the trend and then just follow Morgan and follow the Instagram <laughs> because she's the cutest and they have like the best photos and I'm super jealous of them because Whatever, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we would love to be Instagram friends. Come hang out with us on the yes, gram. Please do. Please we'll all be positive do. together. Absolutely, absolutely. I am still so incredibly happy and excited that we did this, and I can't wait to like edit immediately and make sure everything sounds good and then I'll send it your way and and if you guys have any questions any feedback don't forget hit and either one of us up everything's going to be in the description down below so you don't have no excuses on well I didn't know how to get a hold of you because it's going to be all right there <laughs> right. so anything else you want to add Morgan I'm good I think thank you good. thank you yeah. so much for letting me be here and join yes thank you and I um will look forward to talking to you later and guys um yeah Thanks for listening. I love you. And it's a great day to have a great day. So let's make it Yay. a good one. Bye, <laughs> guys. Bye. Hey, I'm still working in here. It's recording. It's happening. This is a thing. Okay. This is a thing. We're doing it.
It's happening. All right, so now I click on this link. As, as, as long as you're ready. Do you want me to give you a brief overview of what I have so far? Yes, I'm really trying to follow your lead and not like have my own agenda too much, so. Well, um, so I already recorded the um, introduction to the podcast and basically most of my intros are like, I give a little like recap of last week's episode to talk about how my week has been, that kind of thing that I'm thinking of. So I did all that. And then when I did the introduction to you, all I said was your name. <laughs> um, I said that you were the owner of Beyond the Trend in Vero, um, that we, I interned for you at the end of 2018 and that you have some exciting plans for like taking back 2020. And oh, that's awesome. Basically, yeah, basically all I said, I didn't want to talk about it too much because I wanted to leave it up to you to like, um, I figure we can start out where I'll say hello and, and then say, why don't you um, introduce yourself a little bit more in detail? You can say like how you started Beyond the Trend or whatever you want and then get right into the Step Up September chat. So, okay. You can talk Do you a feel like time. your uh, people who listen to this are kind of more entrepreneurs or more kind of like mental health people or more just kind of people who know you and therefore like to tune in? I think the majority of them are people that know me. I don't have a huge, huge like fan base yet. My analytics say that I have people that are listening to me in like Australia and Ireland. And I always say in my episodes, like, hey, if you don't know me personally, I would love to know how you found me. So be sure to shoot me a DM. I want to know more about you. And I haven't gotten any of those. Okay. Um, but I do know a lot of people that who have given me feedback that I personally know talk about mental health a lot and how... Um, I've been able to give them ideas on like how to navigate, kind of work through things that they're experiencing. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think it's more on that side. I don't know a ton of them that are super like entrepreneurial. Okay. Well, we'll try and keep this like pretty broad because that was kind of like the whole point of this is that it basically can apply to everybody. So um but I'm also happy because I'm going to share this on all my platforms for us to talk a little bit about kind of like how you started the Real Talk Redhead and kind of like why, what you're helping people do kind of through your brain and channel in terms of like taking back their self-care, self-love, mental wellness journey, all that stuff too. Awesome. So, um, all right. I was just trying to log into my... <sighs> I guess I could do it on my computer, but then that might get messy. Whatever is easiest for you. I'm so disorganized. It's my first podcast. I'm sorry. No, it's awesome. This is really I'm figuring it out. I'm a bad guest. <laughs> so not prepared. Um, okay. I wanted to pull up the Beyond the Trend Facebook in case I need to like check what um like what we've been posting and stuff like that for the challenge and everything. So, okay, it's there. And then oh, I was going to get my lips. And then I promise I'm ready. Okay. Where'd you go? Liz? Hello?
much. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. See, no need to be jealous of studio lights when you can <laughs> flip your chair around and use the sunshine. Yeah, I really think I may just re redo this setup and then if if Nate really liked I just didn't know that I like loved having my the kitchen as my background, but I don't suppose that that matters much. It's cute. It's like a cute little kitchen. Are your cabinets like light blue? No, they're white. Oh, all right. You can see all my like thousands of coffee mugs up there. There's a whole row behind those too. That's funny. The coffee is what makes the world go round. Addiction. Are you able to sit any lower or no? No, but I can probably raise the computer a little bit. This is as low as the chair goes. I think pretty sure. Yeah. more. Okay, are we feeling good about this? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna sit up straight in my torture device over here. <laughs> oh, she's got the best posture in the business, everybody. Here's Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me for posture tips. If nothing else, do not. Hashtag posture goals 2020. My, um, I went to go get a massage the other day and the masseuse is like, you really need to work on strengthening your back muscles. Otherwise, you're going to, like, have a hump back. And I'm like, yes, I'm aware. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Basically, like a camel over here. It's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, let me... I'm going to send you a new link because I right. closed out my app when in the internet debacle but otherwise I think we're ready I'm ready if you are okay this is happening Yay. Right. send me the new linkage and Sending. let me just grab my water too I've got all the coffee going okay. I feel like there's a meme in here somewhere, like, how long does it take two chicks to uh, start a podcast? <laughs> when mostly it's one chick's fault. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then the internet, and then everything. And then the internet, and then all the things. Okay, so you're going to, are you able to kind of hear my levels when I go ahead and click to this? I think so, yeah. And then once you, as soon as you click it, it'll show me that you've, um, joined and I'm just gonna say hey Morgan how are you thank you for coming and we'll just get like kind of right into it from there oh my gosh it's so much pressure okay it's okay no right. stress and if at any time you're just like I need a minute like to stop and pause and breathe or like think collect my whatever like totally yeah easy that's to true and everything so it's true it's not live the last thing like this I did was live which is why I like didn't sleep for three days because I was I, like, <laughs> I was days. really nervous when I did my face my face mask Friday live mm. which was ready to go or whatever it was because that was the second live I had ever done the first one was a long 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 time ago um but I just kind of acted like I was hanging out with my friends and if they they thought I was silly well then that's I, I am silly so, so be it yes <laughs> All right, was. I'm going to go ahead and click join, and okay. uh, let's just make sure there's no, like, feedback or anything. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to echo. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Let's no, start it fine. one more time. I'm going to get my um, headphones. Okay.
I went ahead and sent you a new link because I think once you exit that the recording, yeah, it has to generate a new one. So, all right, go back. All right. All right, so hopefully this works. Feels so old school not using like AirPods like the cool kids. I uh, same. Okay, here we go. Hello, testing.